Hi guys, and uh, welcome to a demo. Uh, this demo is for this fantastic app. I've really got to say how much I think this is a, a really great um, iOS app um, made by the guys at Positive Grid. This is actually called Bias, and this is essentially one of the most fully featured and customizable amp modelers on the market, full stop. Not just for iOS, but full stop. Uh, it's really quite insane how much you can do with this. Um, and if you consider it's an iOS app, it's even more incredible what you can do with it. Um, at the moment, this just runs on iPad, but they're going to release this for um, the iPhone as well. Now, the idea with this is basically uh, the uh, software ships with uh, a series of kind of predetermined uh, amplifier models. Um, you can see along the top here, I've got uh, clean, glassy, blues, crunch, and high gain, and there's metal further across as well if I just scroll. Insane, acoustic, and bass. And each of these, if I was, for instance, to uh, just press there on clean, you've got a series of different amplifiers that are modeled, um, obviously all with their own characteristics. Glassy, we've got uh, black face, like a Fender twin kind of thing. Uh, Vox style, um, so on and so forth, Dumble clean. So these are all presets. But the really amazing thing is when you go into any of these amps, so at the moment I've got this 67 Blackface Duo. The crazy thing is if I click on this um, spinning disc, uh, sorry, the gear here, if I just tap that, I can literally customize almost anything about the preamp, the tone stack, the power amp, the transformer, the cab, the mic, uh, various EQ settings. I can even create custom front panels for a particular amplifier that I'm um, trying to model or my own amplifier. Um, and the first thing that you notice when you plug into this, I'm actually plugged into a pretty nice Focusrite interface here. So I'm using a USB uh, connection. You can see it's connected here. Or maybe you can't see that on the video, actually. It's connected to uh, Focusrite. Um, I've actually put a little bit of delay on via my um, Universal Audio Apollo interface. So when I play, you'll hear a little bit of delay. <laughs> That's just the way I like it. Um, you, there's a room uh, reverb that you can use for ambience, but I prefer a little bit of delay. It's not affecting the tone at all, it's just literally just to make it more comfortable for me. But you can hear straight away. It's a pretty impressive tone, regardless of the fact that it's on an iOS device. Uh, the tone in general in um, the BIOS app, they also have a, an app called uh, Jam Up Pro, which has great tones in it as well, which is kind of a similar kind of uh, idea. And I'll show you how you can utilize that as well um, later on. Um, so yeah, basically if we were to say, for instance, press on the preamp here, we've got so many options, it's absolutely insane. The uh, preamp kind of setup is shown obviously via the diagram and the graphics are just insane. They've obviously spent a huge amount of time um, in terms of the artistic design of this to make it look very realistic. Now, we can do things that are simple from changing the, say, the input tube. I don't want a 12AX7, let's say I want a 12AT7, and these go down in terms of kind of gain staging. So an AT7 is less gain than an AX7. So I could then change this to be an AU7. You can hear my gain has dropped down. The lower output tubes, basically. Now, if we switch them both to an AU7, the cathode follower tube, as opposed to the input gain stage, you can hear that that's had a, a significant effect on the tone. Now, at the moment, I've got two tube stages. I know there's four on the diagram here, but you can see down here, tube stages, there's two. We can have up to five. And as we increase the number of tubes, the gain will go up. So now, effectively, I've got uh, four 12AU7 tubes. If I wanted even more gain, this will probably start to clip. Okay, so that's a 12AX7. We've got uh, basically four preamp tubes now, so much more gain. So uh, three 12AX7s, I guess it would be, followed by a 12AU7. Listen to how that's such a quality breakup. It sounds just like an amp, and if I roll the volume down... Now obviously that's just tweaking the number of tubes and the type of tube. We can tweak the amount of distortion. Um, this is like basically the, um, the amount of distortion that we're getting at the, the sort of centre point, if you like, of the gain control. And then we can increase that via the actual front panel of the amp. Now 
when you consider the price of this app, it's insane that you can get tones that good from something that basically costs, uh, you know, about the same as a, a Big Mac. <laughs> If I was to put the uh, cathode follower tube, it's a 12x7 now. And you can hear all of the notes and all of the chords, even though we've got quite a bit of gain on there. And this is just the preamp stage. Now we can also have a low, high, uh, low cut and a high cut frequency. And then over here, if I just remove that a second, We've got uh, pre-low, pre-mid, and pre-high. So basically, we can take out mids or uh, take out mids, take out lows, uh, take out highs, or boost the highs, the lows, and uh, the mids. So if I wanted more mids, we're already quite middly. Take off some of those highs. And we have to switch these on, of course. <laughs> some of those highs back in. So you can hear there on my lowest, we're a bit thumb, a thubby, so, or a bit muddy in the bass, so we can bring out some, and again, this is just the preamp. Okay, we can adjust the bias, so, whoops, that's my sound card, that's not the app. Okay, we've got um, post uh, preamp section EQ controls as well, so low shelf, middle and high shelf. So pretty impressive, now there's also presets here. So you could go for glassy tube, bright tube preamp. So the guys at um, Positive Grid have come up with some presets for you if you wish to use those, which is really, really useful. Okay, um, if we then go to, there's an EQ section you can have after the preamp as well. I'm not gonna actually use that now, but full parametric um, EQ. I say it's fully parametric. It's not quite because you can't control the Q values of these individual, um, or at least as far as I'm aware, you can't control the Q values of these um, individual bands, but it's still a very, very, um, useful feature to have and I actually do use it on the EQ at the end of this patch. Then we can go to the tone stack. Uh, again there's presets, classic clean, boogie tone, British crunch, so on and so forth, um, and they will automatically alter the tone stack um, as they call it topology to match a particular amp. Uh, but obviously this means you could have a Fender Twin with a boogie style um, tone stack, so on and so forth. You can mix and match as you want. Bass, middle and treble, these have quite drastic effects. <laughs> than anything else I've heard on uh, an iOS app. Then the power amp. Okay, so we can choose what type of power tubes we want. We've got obviously the four main choices. Uh, 6L6s, 6V6s, so the smaller version of a 6L6, EL34s and EL84s. So if I changed from 6L6s, which are my favorite kind of tube, to the EL34s. <laughs> Touch screen works perfectly for this. It's so um, tactile and so easy to use. Then we've got, again, power tube distortion, uh, master volume knob, uh, split again. So basically, oh, it's easier to show you what this does. <laughs> doing here is we're talking subtleties of feel as well as tone so the feel here is really good you can hear how dynamic it is okay we can change the topology so single-ended split load push pull and solid state if I go to solid state, again, this kind of a feel thing as well as tone. So to me, that feels more immediate when I play. Okay, 
again, bias adjust, hot and cold for um, the actual power amp section. And then presence and resonance, so like some people call that deep. Uh, we can have a vintage or modern setting for that. So if I show you the uh, modern setting for the presence first. Now the vintage. Same with the resonance, so the bottom end, and we can obviously crank this depending on what we want. Uh, for instance, uh, the Fender Twin style amp or a blackface amp doesn't have a resonance control on the front panel. It does have a presence, but no, or most of them, a lot of them do, but no resonance. So you can adapt this and increase the low end thump. Remove some. And then push. Again, it's great, it's just adding low bottom end but not muddying up the signal at all. And again, presets over here. So different types of, uh, you know, presets for different types of amp. And you can either match that with the type of amp you're trying to create or you can try and experiment and mix and match. Really, really cool. Okay, if we go over to the transformer, again, here's where we get into kind of the feel of the amp um, as much as the tone. And along here, we've got basically the settings for how the amp reacts. So uh, the compression, the attack and release of that compression and the ratio, and then the input gain. And then whether we have a solid state or tube rectifier. So at the moment we're on a tube rectifier. Now when I go over to the solid state, again we get a more immediate attack. It's less spongy. Attack release and compression are basically going to give us more and more, as I say, compression. Now, personally, I favour a little bit more of a kind of dynamic response, so less compression. Which obviously makes the amp a little bit harder to play, but just feels better for me. Um, so I actually do like the solid state rectification. We'll switch back to tube for the moment. Then we've got finally the cab block, which basically allows us to change between various different cabs. So we're on a two by 12 black duo at the moment, which obviously matches the amp. Uh, these have a massive impact on the tone as uh, impulse responses do with other modelers. <laughs> Loads of these, absolutely loads. So we'll go back to the original. Uh, where are we, Black Duo? Now we've also got the choice of a C414, um, which is basically an AKG C14, uh, C414 model, or an SM57. <laughs> So obviously the C414 is a dynamic mic, it's got more of a kind of, um, sorry, a condenser mic, so it's got more of a kind of um, high-end roll-off on it, it's a bit smoother sounding. SM57, obviously the classic combination with any amp. Then we can move around on the speaker cone to get... ...brighter or smoother sounds um, in terms of the uh, EQ and the... Uh, the setting of the actual uh, microphone, and then we can move away from the... Um... You know, you can position it wherever you want, basically. And then finally, Another EQ section. Now what I like to do is I like to bump the mids a little bit around seven, between six and 700K. So you can hear the effect that's having basically. So huge amount of control, up to eight bands of EQ shaping. And then you can mix in the EQ as well using this dial here. Um, so you can have a 50% blend of the original signal plus the EQ'd signal, which is a really cool feature, really, really nice, really, really well thought out. So once you've done all of your tone tweaking, you can basically go back to the custom panel setting 
and you can change a lot of the features if you uh, of the front panel of the amp. If you click on this button just here, you can choose different types of Tolex, so orange, rough red, highway white, so that actually looks really cool. Um, now, as we keep doing this, if I go back, if I can see the button, it's quite tricky, I can change the name, I've got a lot of light on the screen. Okay, so, you can choose your own background if you want. There's absolutely tons of options here, so if we go to knob for instance, we can change type of knobs we've got, chicken head, ADA black, so on and so forth. Um, there's, there's a ton of features in terms of what we can actually tweak. Um, so if we go to grill cloth, we can change, you know, you can really, really do whatever you want um, effectively. Name the amp whatever you want, and then basically to store it, there's a couple of ways. You can either hold down on one of these quick store buttons, and you can see there it said it was stored, um, and then we can basically use the front panel as we would a normal amp. <laughs> sound really. Um, now the other thing we could do is we could upload to uh, the uh, server that these guys have got, the Tone Cloud as they call it. Now tone sharing, if I basically type in a description, choose the style of the amp, I can share it on Tone Cloud or share it on Facebook uh, and it's as simple as that basically, hit the share button and we're done basically and that will be available for anybody to download um, and use on their own version of BIOS. We can also download uh, save the amp um, as a new uh, amp or and you know choose the name of it so on and so forth. Um, it's various settings here uh, for which input channel on your sound card you want to use, um, the whether you want to push up and down or left and right for the uh, knob gestures, running the background audio, you can use this with audio bus as well. Normal or low latency. On my iPad 3 if I run in very low, or the ultra low latency I get a couple of pops and clicks every now and again so you're probably looking at an iPad 4 um, minimum for running in low latency mode, but that might just be my sound card that I'm using. I'm not sure. I haven't tried it with any other sound cards at all. Um, so, uh, but it's still obviously, um, you know, the low latency, sorry, the normal latency mode feels absolutely fine. Uh, the other massive, massive feature, this is amazing, if you've got um, Jam Up Pro, which is Positive Grid's other app, if you hit this button, the amp that you've just created will be loaded into Jam Up Pro which is um, Positive Grid's uh, kind of other amp modeling, um, kind of all-in-one effects amp modeling recording software, which is really, really fantastic. My amp that I've just created in BIOS has now been imported into Jamup Pro, and I can use all of the effects that come with Jamup Pro in my signal chain. So I've got a delay and reverb. <laughs> If I was to lower the gain, whoops, move that back again, lower the gain, add in um, a tube drive. Okay, bring out some of the top end a little bit. If we add this pedal in, I've got an EQ so I can actually drop out anything above 32.2k. there so I mean it's amazing really I mean all of the different effects that come with um, Jam Up Pro obviously if you buy all of the effects you'll have hundreds and hundreds of them um, we can add a digital delay in instead of a tape echo now if I want to go back and edit the amp again I just select the amplifier hit this bias button and we're back into bias again and we can edit and do whatever we want basically so we're back into the cab settings we could adjust the transformer so on and so forth and again, what's really cool, there's two other really cool things. We've got all the factory tones that are built in. So if I go back to a glassy clean tone. Now again, bear in mind, that's what we started with and we ended up with a really heavy, um, overdriven kind of lead tone. So 
if you select an amp and you're not 100% certain that it's the right one for you, you can go much further in, in depth sort of tweaking and really, really tailoring the tone to your satisfaction. Again, I could go in here and I could say, okay, I want a, um, a mid boost at the end of that chain. So let's go again for... Go to the preamp. Oops, that's it. Okay, uh, let's say we want to increase the distortion a little bit, add some mids, add some highs, make sure that's on. Absolutely incredible and obviously you've got all of the presets in here not only for um, the settings within the amp but also uh, for different amps <laughs> So tons and tons of possibilities, pretty much endless possibilities, obviously acoustic and bass, so you can uh, you know, use, emulate uh, some really nice acoustic uh, and bass tones. And then finally, in the tone cloud, there's just hundreds, if not thousands of different uh, presets. So if we, these are the popular ones at the moment. These are ones that people have created. Basically, I've uploaded a couple of these. Oh, there's mine there. Where did it go? There we go, there's one from me. Uh, you can either select the latest new tones, obviously you need to be connected to the net for this, to the internet, uh, or by genre, of which there's quite a few. So amazingly fully featured amp, and you know, I'd be quite happy to use this for either live work or for studio work. Really, really happy. I think it's a fantastic sounding tool, incredibly versatile. Uh, just really quick along the bottom here, we've got the input and the output volume. The room control, which I've not had on, but obviously that just, if you've not got any effects, I'm, as I say, I'm running through my UAD Apollo, a little bit of delay on there. You can use this room reverb, really easy to switch on, just using that little button down there. There we go. Okay, store up to eight presets. There's a noise gate on there. I hate noise gates, but obviously you can use one. Um, just fantastic. So I hope you've enjoyed this demo. And uh, yeah, thanks guys for watching, and I'll see you next time. It's Bias by Positive Grid.